Susunoden Pashonen is a reality show from Japan that ran from 1998 to 2002. It is a well-renowned show where it features comedians in a desperate situations. Every season was different and each of them was severely brutal. In one season, two contestants had to build a raft and spend four months trying to get off an island. On another season, a contestant was put in a room with a TV so he could watch his favorite baseball team play every day. But the catch was, if the team won, he would get food, but if they lost, he wouldn't get any. And the electricity in his room would be turned off. The most notorious season of the program is about a guy called Nasubi. An aspiring comedian who was given the difficult task of remaining unclothed and isolated from the outside world in a small flat with only piles of magazines as a means to survive until he won a combined 1 million yen in total from consistently entering different magazine sweepstakes. His only source of support was the money he received from these mail-in contests. The producers initially told Nasubi that the show may or may not be aired on television, that it is an experiment and he was recording his daily activities to be broadcasted later, when in fact all of his recordings, including his most private moments, were broadcasted the entire time for the whole Japan to see and make fun of. Nasubi spent his life over a period of 18 months writing the mail-in letters for entry in order to win the prizes he saw from the magazine. And with a total of 17 million viewers every Sunday night, the television program smashed records and doubled HBO's Game of Thrones average ratings. What these 17 million individuals didn't know or even realize is that they are witnessing the deterioration of a man's life in real time, which, to be honest, sounds something like out of a Black Mirror episode. His real name is actually Tomoaki Hamatsu. The reason why he is called Nasubi is because he was nude all the time. So the production team had to conceal his private parts with an eggplant sticker and also because of his long face. Day in and day out, Nasubi's routine looked very similar. Secluded in a tiny apartment with the only thing on his to-do list was to mail in his entries so he could win prizes. One time, he won a bag of rice and he was super ecstatic about it. But it wasn't long until he realized he didn't have a rice cooker. So what he had to do was eat it raw. He did improvise eventually and actually made a decently cooked rice using a can he won from previous sweepstakes. Once he had finished the rice, he had to resort to dog food in order to survive and as you can see, he really didn't enjoy it. Although he knew he was going to be featured on a show, he was deceived to think that it was going to happen at a later date which meant they didn't have his permission to be broadcasted which also means he had zero privacy as his daily activities were being broadcasted on the TV and eventually live streamed 24-7 where a dedicated team would follow him wherever he goes to censor his genitalia. Sometimes, the producers would intentionally make fun of him by sending in people for him to sign papers, making him think that he won something. One time, a delivery man knocked on his door to deliver ramen, but it was actually not for Nasubi, but for somebody else. After 11 months and one day, Nasubi finally accomplished his objective after winning enough products worth a million yen. Nasubi celebrated his victory by going to South Korea, he had a meal there and went to a theme park, and not long after, he was blindfolded, brought once again to an apartment. Everything was similar, but the objective now is to earn enough money to buy a flight back to Japan. As you can clearly see, Nasubi was devastated. He knew what he was supposed to do at this point and after a bit of a breakdown, he went all in. And in just two months, he was able to win enough prizes to cover the cost of the ticket. As soon as he reached that goal, they changed it again to first class. ファーストクラスにランクアップということはゴールの金額もランクアップということはゴールの8万1600円までだと1万9800円
He was able to catch a flight back to Japan, but once more, he was blindfolded and transferred to a remote apartment. As soon as Nasubi realized where he was, he started removing all of his clothes by his own initiative. Clearly, he was feeling really upset. But then, the apartment's walls collapsed, exposing a live broadcast studio with hundreds of cheering audience members. Nasubi was visibly shocked, probably beyond shocked and confused because he had literally no idea that millions of people had been watching him for the past 18 months and that his day-to-day -day life had been aired for all people to see. The issue with the show and any reality show in general is that entertainment relies on the exploitation of an individual all for the sake of numbers. It's a terrifying fact that we use other people's struggles, possibly even traumas, for our own amusement. It's very wrong to even picture someone being stripped of their clothes, denied access to food and water, cut off from the outside world, and subjected to degradation beyond all comprehension. The transformation of Nasubi's body and mind through the whole ordeal is also very terrifying to witness. And as a result of his prolonged isolation and lack of human contact, his speech slowed down significantly. He also felt uncomfortable using clothes because he got used to being naked for a really long time. What's equally disturbing is the producer's unwillingness to publicly admit his remorse regarding the show, let alone any comments about what it had done to Nasubi's well-being. Instead, the producer justified what he had done by glorifying the success of his work and claimed that each experience was a miracle captured on camera. The only good thing that came out of this is the crackdown on the show due to its explicit content which led to its cancellation in 2002.